drive, um, it galvanized a lot of the guys on the team, everyone on the team, it's galvanized everyone. It's, um, you know, put the young guys straight into the flame. They know what to expect, they know what it takes. It's going to give them a lot of drive over the summer. It's going to give everyone a lot of drive over the summer. Um, I just shared with the guys, um, you know, 2013, we lost the game, game seven. <laughs> Galvanized that team before the next year. You guys know what happened the next year. So, you know, um, that, that, with the way these guys are, I think that's something that is definitely attainable because they're a special group. Everyone here has shown how committed they are to it throughout the season. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure you guys will even want to add with a couple of additions as well on top of that. So, um, you know, why not? How does the, how did the young guys respond when you talk, told them about how you lost game seven and came back and won it the next year? Um, you know, I, I don't know if anyone had really thought about it, but I couldn't, I could not think about it last night. You know, I, 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 I haven't slept, I've been thinking about it. So, um, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of similarities. What, what did the season mean to you? I mean, this was really... It was, it was, I enjoyed the hell out of it, to be honest. Um, you know, it's, it's over a lot sooner than we wanted. Um, I, I really enjoyed the opportunity I was given here. Uh, just embraced trying to play within the system and, you know, everyone on this team bought into the system. That That's something that... It, it's tough to do at this level, have complete buy-in from every single guy on the roster, and that's something that... Brad was able to accomplish, Danny was able to accomplish, so, you know, that's something special. How are you going to approach this this offseason? Because, I mean, obviously the way you were able to kind of establish yourself as a defensive presence, team had a lot of success, they're going to be suitors. How, do you, how are you looking at this offseason? <laughs> I, I really haven't thought about that too much until, you know, I sat in Danny's office, but, um, you know, then, then he's kind of made it clear that um, you know, that that is actually coming up. I, I really didn't think about it. I, last night I was thinking about was what, what this team can attain in the future. So I'd love to be a part of it, that's for sure. Did he give you a sense of that, that he felt the same way? Uh, in, in, in not so many words, I guess. Aaron, in time, do you think you look back on the season with, with a sense of pride for all your accomplishment? Or? Does the pain of what happened in Game Seven and, and coming up, you know, one step short, is that what six would? Um, it was, it was an honor to be able to play with these guys, play with this group, um, yeah. play with the name on the front of the jersey. Um, it was an honor, so I'm gonna just leave it as that. Just kind of piggybacking real quick, when you're going through that whole process of figuring out where you're gonna be next season, how will fit? play into your decision? It's, it fit as far as like how your style of play fits in with whatever system you might Yeah, definitely. I, I would always want to contribute. Um, I think anyone in the league always wants to contribute more. And that's something that, you know, that's, I, I would love to be able to contribute more. And that's one of those things. That's what I've been able to work on here over the course of the season. You know, Brad's been able to work with me on some things and you know I've been able to contribute more so I've loved my opportunity here and you know I'm always always want to try and contribute more to a team to help them go even better and that's that's what my goal is. What's yeah. the secret to kind of picking up where a team leaves off because sometimes you see it you know you fall short and then you go backwards whereas you're saying you think this team fell one short but can go forward. What, the character of the guys on the team so is what a big <laughs> part of it and I think they have the right character on them for all the guys on this team. That's a big part. What do you think the future is for Tatum? <laughs> I mean, yeah, everyone said it. Um, it. It's bright. It's very, very bright. And you took a lot of tumble this year. How are you feeling physically, and how long will it take you to recover from the battery that you took? My, um, this is probably the best I've felt at the end of any season. You know, that's, that's a big credit to our um, support staff that we have, even though I've got to go get surgery to fix the nose right now. But, um, you know, that's... <laughs> That one got broken a few games back, a um, couple of games back actually. But which game? You know, um, last one in Cleveland. So, yeah, it's a little bit crooked. Moves a little bit right now, but um, you know, apart from that, I feel great. You know, my son kicked me in the nose this morning anyway, so <laughs> it's all good. I, I can get past that. Um, yeah, but 
no, he's two and a half. But yeah, no, I feel I feel great. Um, yeah, testament to what the Celtics have been able to do and keeping everyone on the court. I think that was a big part of what helped us succeed. Do you think you back to go ahead? Do you think your role is kind of like being the guy who takes the charges, being the guy who's not afraid to get dunked on, being the guy who challenges is appreciated here? Um, hopefully it was. You know, hopefully. Um, it is something that's appreciated. I know I appreciate everyone else, what they bring on defense, you know, um, from the energy that Smart brings every time he gets out there and um, the, how willing J Jason was to learn and focus on his defense. You know, he didn't, his offensive game is so, so far above mine. I didn't talk to him anything about on, anything offensively, but I definitely had a few words for him defensively and he's so eager to learn and get better, which is, a great sign, and um, you know, there's everyone. Everyone really contributed on defensive end, which is why I think Coach just said we were the second-ranked defense throughout the course of the season. So that's something that um, you know we're, we're still not happy with. I think we we could get to number one. That's for sure. I asked you this media day about the Spurs and the Celtics organization. Having gone with the Celtics organization, how similar or very similar traits? Ah, uh, yeah. The, there's a lot of similarities. You know, there's. Um, in terms of the leadership from the top down, and um, you know, that's they go out, they go out and get the guys, the right guys, to fill the spots. So um, you know, there's definitely similarities in that. Uh, um, yeah, it's it's something that I'm honored to be a part of. Yeah. Blunt. I don't. How would you? What about your, What's about your improving in shooting trees? <laughs> um, confidence from the coaching staff. Uh, you know, I've I've shot them in international competitions and I've just never shot them in the NBA. Um, you know, it was one of those things a lot of the time I'm not put in a position either. But um, you know, Brad 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 found a spot for me within his system where I could space the floor and he gave me the the confidence to go out there and shoot them and um, you know, that's always a good thing having a coach's confidence. So um, yeah, I appreciate that. You talked you talked about the type of guys that both teams have had. I mean, how would you characterize those players? Um, a willingness to put the team above the individual. That's a big part of it. Um, that's something that Tim did night in, night out. And that filtered down. That's something that Al does night in, night out. Um, you know, that's, that, that's one of the premier things that if you can find that within a guy, then they're going to do the right thing. They're going to help your team. That's what we have here. How hard is that to find? <laughs> it's, it's pretty tough. You see that? There's, there's not too many teams that have a roster full of guys that will do that. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.